How's it going everyone? Justin with Sweet Stingers. And it's a nice day today. Girls are taking advantage of it. No wind. Sun's out. It's a great day, so happy to see them flying. I'm sure they're happy to be out. So one thing, or a couple of things that were asked a lot is one, how we treat uh, using the thermal units, uh, which we will have a video of that when we start our treatments. Uh, and two is our equipment and especially our entrances or what are these uh, the PVC pipes so we usually have a PVC 90 right here as well um, we took them off during winter if we need more uh, ventilation uh, for moisture um, but these are up here are what we use for top entrances is stuff so these are a three quarter inch uh, PVC 90 this one down here um, in, in this box uh, is a one inch uh, PVC 90 so it takes a one inch hole drilled uh, for here to put a three quarter inch threaded 90 and uh, I believe it's an inch and a quarter uh, hole there to fit a one inch uh, 90 so the reason that we use them uh, is a couple of different reasons um, I was searching around for building a a honeybee trailer uh, one that I could house uh, beehives on years ago to pull and set into uh, farmers fields uh, without unloading the bees uh, I came across the AZ hives and the AZ hive uh, somewhere along the way I found their pipe entrances um, they intrigued me. I started looking into them. I found some other beekeepers that were using some 90s. Uh, so I started messing around with it. Um, they were using them for small hive beetles uh, to help with the small hive beetles. So small hive beetles don't have like elbows in their front legs so they can't uh, bend. So when they're when they when they land they walk over here and they have a hard time making this corner here and stuff so they just fall down to the ground uh, as you can see honeybees can hover and stuff they can hover here and then they can go up in here and stuff a small high beetle can't it either has to fly directly into the to the opening or it has to land here and then walk in so uh, it does help uh, deter small high beetles now small high beetles still can get into the hives uh, so it's not a hundred percent guaranteed to keep them out but it does reduce them uh, I have some yards with some really bad small high beetles on and we can definitely tell a reduction in small high beetles uh, in those yards um, another thing though that for me what I really became interested in on first using was for our little two frame three frame mating nukes um, to see if it would help with rubbing and it does um, this is very easy to guard uh, this little hole here and stuff so on a mating nuke I just have a one entrance and I only use the three quarter on my mating nukes and stuff and it's very easy for the girls to guard um, and they didn't they weren't getting just like beat up in the in the mating yards and stuff so that was nice um, it was also helpful for me to can help control moisture um, which is another great thing so if I'm having moisture problems in the winter I can just unscrew one of these and open up uh, more ventilation for the girls uh, so it can help with uh, it can help with moisture now as you see here right here this used to be our top entrance in our boxes uh, I run with top entrances I use a hole here only I do not use the, the bottom entrance that most people run. I use a hole in my brood box and then everything up above has a hole. I tried to keep my entrance as close to the roof as I could but as people know if you've been keeping bees uh, when season gets going the bees don't care what kind of equipment you have or not. Uh, if you don't have it then they'll swarm and they need room. Uh, they don't wait on you. So not all of my boxes have holes in it. I don't want all my boxes to have holes in it. I want the holes to be on the top of my 
honey super so I keep singles as you can see so I run a queen excluder and then another box and then I super up um, so I want my I want the brood nest down here I want this as least uh, compacted as I can when we start in in uh, harvesting honey uh, so my supers I take when we when we put them up I want the entrance I want the I want my foragers to go to the supers and stuff and not have to come through here and walk up um, and stuff so without me having a hole a top entrance in every single one of my boxes I would run into a problem of, of not having an entrance where I wanted it so last year I started just building them into the lids why is that because every hive has a lid and stuff so I put two of them in here and then with this one down here I leave this one open uh, you know year round they can come in and out of there but as the season gets going and when we start building up with supers they use these a whole lot more than they'll use that one um, that, that's just the foragers are coming in and out of here uh, instead of going down into the brood box so it's, it's lessening the traffic up the congestion up in the in the brood box area uh, and that's what I want uh, so I want my workers up and the nurse bees down doing their jobs so that's why we started building them into the lids I am told with those three holes it's actually more of an entrance than an entire bottom board open and stuff um, the bees can guard against these very well um, with these smaller entrances and stuff even though it is a lot um, or even though it is said to be more of an entrance than if I had a had a traditional bottom and stuff now one thing for southern I'm in Oklahoma we get extremely hot one thing I have to worry about is to make sure that we have ventilation and stuff. Um, just using these right here can cause uh, heat buildup, which you can get uh, cone collapse and everything. So our bottom boards are made with um, uh, each corner has a has a has a hole drilled, and then we put uh, um, hardware cloth over it. Um, for ventilation and stuff and we also will have let's see no these don't have it um, but usually our back of the hive will have a small hole um, right next to the to the entrance I believe it's a 5 8 and that's a vent a vent hole uh, we use it in our in our brood box and so we just started putting those in oh probably last year too and stuff and that seems to help really vent the vent the hive um in the middle of the summer if we need to vent it a little bit more depending on uh, small hive beetle stuff we will screen we will just run a piece of screen over these holes take these out and run a screen over these holes um they also make a plug that you can buy you, know, you can fit them into into a hole they don't make one for this size they do make one for like the inch size that has screens already built into them um, that you can get to help uh, vent or you can use a screen inner cover which we have uh, a few of those also so it just depends on what yard we're in, uh, how we vent our hive, but venting is something that needs to be done. Like I said, when we have the PVC 90 on this one too, obviously, you know, wind cannot get in here like it can, you know, down through the through the bottom here. If that was open, you know, wind can just come in there and, and get a good vent. So those are the reasons that we use them. As you can see, the bees do use them as entrances. Uh, we don't find any any uh, downside to them having them on it'll take them a little bit to get used to but once they're used to it it's not a it's not a big deal um, you know I think every single one of our highs have uh, been set up like that now all the way from our two frame mating nukes to these uh, 10 frames the only ones that don't have them are apple may hives um, but that hive is is not quite as active as this one uh, this one was a lot more active right before I started 
uh, the video uh, taking orientation flights uh, some new new girls coming out but anyways I wanted to explain to you I get questions asked about them that's why we use them uh, and that's that's why they're built into the lids and that's their that's their purpose is small high beetle uh, ventilation uh, robbing uh, and, and entrances all in all in the say all in one you know just uh, very easy to have on top of our lids so we will make another video on how we build ours um, as you can see they're not made of wood we use a PVC board uh, for tops and bottoms uh, we started switching to that uh, we're not fully there yet but uh, we are switching over to them and hey, stuff so, um, I just find them better there's no maintenance to them they don't rot it is a little bit more expensive but with the price of wood going up uh, it's really not uh, crazy uh, difference anymore so I will show you how we build them how we drill these holes in here how we put them in and um, how we do our, our bottom boards with the ventilation and stuff and um, we'll get a video posted for that too all right well i hope you guys are doing good all you beekeepers i hope your bees are doing good and you guys are ready for your spring it's coming we'll talk with you later see ya <laughs>